In the next seven minutes, I'm gonna show you how to create professional UI designs entirely with AI in seconds and fully editable in Figma. All I needed was a few screenshots, a specific prompt, and a pretty cool website. The tool that I used to create this UI is actually Claude, a multi-purpose LLM, but with a recent update has gotten really good at creating UI by writing code. But don't worry, we won't need to touch a single line of code, and I'll show you how we can turn all of this into an editable Figma design. Let's do it. With the uptick of Vibe Coding, which is the use of AI coding LLMs to create applications without really a knowledge of code, I thought now was a perfect time to see if vibe designing works too. Which brings us to Claude. With the single prompt and one image, it spat out this masterpiece. It's well laid out, looks appealing, and is even complete with micro interactions. Albeit there are a few too many emojis here for my liking, but that's an easy fix once we jump into Figma. It's even somewhat responsive too. Getting into Claude, if you're aiming for a specific style, then uploading a reference image is definitely a good idea. To create this dashboard, I just uploaded a reference image that I made myself on Figma. However, you definitely don't have to make your own. Instead, let's head over to Dribbble and see what we can find. The issue with many Dribbble dashboards in particular is there is a lot going on. That's probably what makes them look good. However, I've found that Claude typically is a hard time seeing all those little details and as a result doesn't really get the point when you upload an image like this. Instead, for more realistic sites, I really like site inspire.com and something like this could actually work out really well for us if we were to put it into Claude. But instead, I'm going to go for an actual project management tool called Linear. They've definitely got the aesthetic that we're looking for, so I'll take a screenshot of this for later. But speaking of aesthetic, this is the special website I was talking about called 21st.dev. It's an entire library of UI components either built with AI or built for AI. And it provides the plain code if we open the component, which we can just copy over, or we can copy the prompt here, which allows us to insert this into our designs without really doing all that much work. If we come over to Claude, paste this whole thing in, and just hit go, and give it a minute or two, we end up with something like this. This is what Claude has given us with the code that we gave it. Unfortunately, if you were hoping to import this into Figma, you can't because of the code format here, but let me show you how you can now. So we have our reference image here from Linear, but let's start crafting our prompt now. First, you need to make it quite clear that you want it to design something, because occasionally it won't recognize that's what you want. Additionally, we want to add for it to write in HTML and CSS if you want to export this to Figma later. Second, we want to specify the purpose and intended use. In our case, we're going for a project management dashboard UI to allow users to track ongoing projects and see tasks. Don't just leave it here since this provides a lot of extra context. Third, if you want any specific elements like bar charts, sidebars, navbars, etc., it's a good time to mention them. Claude typically does a pretty good job of this, even if you don't ask, but here we'll specify that we want a sidebar with icons and a Gantt chart with colorful bars on it. Finally, it's important to specify that you want it to use an icon library. This is important since otherwise it'll start using emojis like at the start of the video, which isn't really the vibe we're going for. After that, just hit enter and sit back and relax for a minute or two. Alright, Claude has finished, and this is the result. Not bad, I'll say, and if I resize the browser, it's actually relatively responsive. Just for reference, this is what it created when I used the exact same prompt, but uploaded this design from Dribble. Like I was saying, it can't effectively copy these small details, so it just excludes them entirely. Back in our good design here, you could tweak this so the sidebar is sticky, or that everything is perfectly left aligned here. But I find small tweaks like that are better left for Figma, so let me show you how to import this whole thing into Figma super easily. So we're in Figma, and all we need to do to pull this in is open up the HTML to design plugin here, and switch to the file tab right here. Then we come back to our Claude project, Come to this drop down here and hit download as html drag that sucker into the box here and when this pops up just use all the default settings except for components here for hover effects make sure to turn that on and you'll see why in a second here after that just hit go and give it a second and just like that you should have a fully functional figma design now since it's HTML and not an image, all of the elements are exactly how they should be and there's no weird glitchy bits. However, there are some common little fixes that you will need to make in Figma. 
Before we get into those fixes though, here is the before and after of what Claude gave me and just a few minutes of tweaking in Figma. The biggest changes, fonts, alignment, and color. Honestly, the same stuff that screws with most actual websites too. Right off the bat, I don't like how low this line is, and I feel like this should actually be the user's name and icon with an arrow to switch through accounts. We'll line up the items on this menu and then get rid of menu and other labels, and instead just move settings and help center to the bottom. While the colors Claude chose aren't bad, I don't love them. Instead, we'll make the purples more blue and the backgrounds darker and more purpley gray than bluish. We'll also fix the contrast on these chips. Down below, we'll add a subtle grid pattern. This is really picky, but if this is the completed color and this is the uncompleted color, then why are all the rectangles down here in the completed color? We'll update that and change the in progress to an actual percent since that tells us nothing. Besides adding a few more icons and settings up here, this screen is virtually done. From there, you could export this as an image and ask Claude to make you a landing page for this dashboard or more screens for the remaining tabs. The sky really is the limit here. I'll leave the link to the Claude design and the Figma file down below as per usual. If you enjoyed, consider subscribing and I'll see you guys in the next one.